Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's Friday, July 16th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for taking the time today. Uh, a little more activity in the Treasury market, a little volatility there, uh, not as much in the Muni market. What overall did you see in the rates markets? The, um, I, I mean, I think the big question in our market really is, you know, can Muni's maintain their momentum? And uh, the Treasuries have been volatile, but uh, Muni's have really been very resilient. I think investors, and with a lot of the inflationary uh, data coming out and some of the Fed um, uh, signals, uh, the, the question is, can munis uh, you know, continue to perform? And I think the answer certainly appears to be no problem uh, so far. It's based on you know, the, the market's ongoing supply and demand uh, imbalance, Mike. So the money continues to flow into the funds, um, you know, not uh, slightly below last week. We had uh, 2.3 billion. Uh, reported uh, for the previous week and another 2.2 billion uh, that LIPA reported uh, into the municipal mutual funds uh, ending Wednesday. So, you know, as a result, municipal credit spreads uh, inched a little bit tighter on the week. We've got, you know, that that tends to be uh, focused more on the lower quality paper. And so the triple B index is now below the pre-pandemic uh, lows that we saw uh, back in February, a year ago, February. So, uh, but we, you know, we had a very active week here at BAM, uh, you know, both in the secondary and the primary. On um, the secondary, we did about 17 million, uh, we wrapped 17 million bonds. Um, that was across uh, Rutgers University. Uh, also, we did some of the MetPeer Exposition Authority. Um, and, uh, you know, incidentally, MetPeers were upgraded at the end of last week. I think, um, you know, I think that is in recognition of uh, the state of Illinois, which um, uh, met here as a state appropriation, and also just on the revenues that they generate themselves from uh, McCormick Place and Navy Pier. So um, it is, uh, it's still a very tight market environment, uh, but um, you know, maybe you can go into, we, we had a tremendous week in the primary this week also. Sure, it was a very active week in the primary, about uh, just under $600 million uh, in short of new issues. Uh, leading the way on that was $126 million on a taxable transaction for Westmoreland County, Pennsylvania. That was priced by Benning and Scattergood. And then we have the two big BAM Green Star transactions that we talked about last week, uh, $85 million for the Board of Education in Newark, New Jersey, uh, priced by Siebert, and $75 million across three series priced by Piper for Wheeling, West Virginia. Um, two, you know, two uh, transactions that really illustrate the scope of the BAM Green Star program. The uh, Wheeling transaction is one of the more transitional ones we see financing water and wastewater infrastructure. The Newark transaction, which was featured in a Credit Insights video with uh, Howard Spumberg from BAM's East Region Public Finance Group, uh, was an energy efficiency investment. So that's, uh, they have an ongoing program of energy efficiency investments across their 66 buildings. And what's interesting there is the savings from the energy upgrades are expected to exceed the cost of the transaction. So it's not gonna be a net burden to the taxpayers in Newark. That having been said, as Howard explains, uh, the investors are protected both ways. It is a general obligation of the district. So if those savings, for whatever reason, don't add up to the full cost of the bond issue, investors are still protected by the general obligation of the district. But it's, a, it's an innovative and kind of a bold way for the district to invest in improving its energy efficiency. Um, that means cutting electric usage, uh, water usage, and heat. So uh, good upgrades across the district there. Um, but that's, you know, just going back to the overall market conditions, Grant, you know, we've said for a couple of weeks now that uh, we, ex that market observers expect the muni market to kind of stay in this range uh, through the summer. And last week was the first real test after the 4th of July, the new issue volume ramped back up to nine and a half million, a billion dollars. Um, and as you said, the market uh, responded to that very smoothly. Next week, another step up slightly to about ten and a half billion dollars on the calendar. Uh, any indications that uh, anything will change? I think, you know, we, we have these seasonal patterns in the municipal market. So, you know, July and August tend to be heavy, uh, June, July and August tend to be very heavy um, uh, uh, redemption months. So the, the, the money is built up. There seems to be plenty of cash on the sidelines. So I think just in the very near term, uh, the market can handle that, uh, will be able to handle the supply you know, as long as there's some relative stability in rates, I think the community market will be able to handle the supply very well. You know, as we get into the fall, that changes. So uh, I think all bets are off as we look at September, October. 
and just looking uh, in the near term for next week, uh, should be an interesting market, uh, about $166 million of BAM insured paper on the negotiated calendar. I know there are a bunch of other uh, competitive deals coming up, but uh, leading the way in the negotiated calendar is uh, $54 million for Kentucky State University and HBCU in Frankfort, Kentucky. That's going to be priced by Key Bank Capital Markets. So Grant, we'll, uh, we'll touch base next week, see how the uh, competitive calendar goes, and uh, have a great weekend. Thanks a lot, Mike. You too. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 